I watched a couple of videos of people talking about Creflo Dollar and some things he allegedly said regarding Kevin Samuels. Now, when I first heard that, the first thought came to my mind was, what context was he speaking when he mentioned Kevin Samuels? Now, I'm going strictly according to what I heard. And then the thought came to my mind, why would he stop in the middle of his sermon just to talk about or bash Kevin Samuels? It made no sense to me. So I decided to go back and listen to what Creflo Dollar had to say. Now, I'm going to play that for you so that you can hear what Creflo Dollar said. Now, I was ready to go in on Creflo Dollar. Because he had no business stopping in the middle of his sermon just to attack Kevin Samuels, pleasing his wife because his wife was the one that came to him and showed him a clip of Kevin Samuels, according to what I heard other YouTube say, YouTubers say. But I'm going to play it and allow you to listen for yourself. And then I'm going to briefly talk about this. Listen to this. So I'm going to die or to be changed. In other words, when all this stuff happens, what, 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 where, where, what's going to happen to me? Oh, Timothy, guard the deposit entrusted to you. Avoid the irreverent babble and contradictions of what is falsely called knowledge. For by professing it, some have swerved from the faith. And he said, grace be with you. You got to be careful who you listen to. You got to be careful who you listen to. Taffy was showing me about, you know, some, some guy on television just insulting women. And, and he's becoming popular because women are so desperate for the truth. They're looking at the so-called knowledge and the whole bottom line is, if you want to marry a millionaire, then you got to do you got to be this kind of way to marry a millionaire. How do you how do you sit up there and listen to somebody insult you? Is it that bad? Well, I got to try something because I got to give my hand. You know you can do bad all by yourself, right? You don't need a man to do bad by yourself. That was what Creflo Dollar said. Now, Creflo Dollar did not mention Kevin Samuel's name. He said his wife showed him a man on TV that was talking about telling women, if you want to get a millionaire, this is what you have to do. But he never mentioned Kevin Samuel's name. That could have been anyone. Although, that could be looked at or viewed as a cheap shot at Kevin Samuel's without mentioning Kevin Samuel's name. But those that made videos talking about Creflo Dollar mentioned Creflo Dollar's name, which made people like me go back and listen for myself. Most people won't go back and listen for themselves, but they would take the words of those that spreading false information. Again, when I heard those videos, I heard that Creflo Dollar came at Kevin Samuels. So I'm thinking in my mind that he mentioned Kevin Samuels' name, and it made no sense to me. And even by him mentioning what his wife brought to him had nothing to do with the Bible. It had nothing to do with spirituality. But in my own personal opinion, I think it was a thing where he was trying to satisfy his wife. Creflo Dollar could care less, in my opinion, what Kevin Samuels or any other man on the TV or on the Internet talk about. He could care less. And he only mentioned that because his wife showed him a clip. 
a very small portion of what Kevin Samuels or this man, because he never mentioned Kevin Samuels' name. He said, a man, which in essence, he still, he never disrespected Kevin Samuels. He was extremely, if he was talking about Kevin Samuels, he was respectful with it. But he was doing it because his wife brought it to his attention. And like many dudes do, they feel that they have to react to satisfy or please their spouse or their woman. Now, there was nothing wrong with what Cruffalo Dollar said. I felt that it had nothing to do with his message. And it's something that he kind of just threw in there to please his wife or to please women. But he didn't mention Kevin Samuel's name. So I don't know why people are making a big deal out of that. This people on the internet love drama. They live and breed drama. But even if he was referring to Kevin Samuels, let's just say for a moment he was talking about Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels do not bash women. He's straightforward and to the point. And the only women that will hear him, that will listen to him, and when I say hear, I'm saying not just hearing with your with your ears, but those that hear him are the ones that understand where he's coming from. These are women that still have a level of femininity in their body. They know how to submit to man, or better yet, they're trying to learn how to submit to man because of maybe how they were raised. And in the society that women are brought up in. So there's women out there that's open to learning how to be more feminine. And I can't understand for the life of me why there would be so-called black men that's against what Kevin Samuels is doing. Unless, of course, it's out of envy and jealousy. Why would you be upset, especially if black men are always complaining about how masculine black women are? So why would you complain about Kevin Samuels? If you feel, if you feel that black women are masculine, that black women don't submit to their men or won't allow you to be the man, and then you have someone like Kevin Samuels come along, and then you lash out against him saying how he hate black women, how he disrespects black women, how he speaks down and speaks negative of black women, when the only thing he's doing is pointing out the things that many black men complain about. So why complain about black women being masculine when you're going to criticize and attack Someone like Kevin Samuels that's trying to make them aware, that's trying to become, to make them more responsible or take responsibility for choices that they make in life. Why would you be upset with someone like that? Now, I've heard Kevin Samuels refer to black women as running backs. He said he looked like running backs. I think that's funny. Because he would ask their height and their weight. And he would say, according to the height and weight that they give him, he said they're, they're about the size of a running back. That's encouraging them to lose weight. That's encouraging them to me be more healthy and be more fit. That's not a jab at them. That's not criticizing them. That's not saying that, you know, because 
Black females have always to been told that they are queens and they are goddesses and they're everything good and never really made to see their faults. So, and black dudes did this to them. It's the responsibility of black men. Black men are responsible for making black women the way they are today. It's the fault of black men. When you constantly call them queen and uh, goddess and all these elevated titles and they don't deserve it, that's that's seared into their consciousness. They believe that that's what they are. You tell them they're strong. Oh, you're a strong black woman. They're always told that they're strong. So they're living off the system. They're out there opening their legs and getting pregnant by multiple baby daddies. And yet you still tell them that they're queens and they're strong. So then when you can't control them, then you black males complain about how they're masculine. They're aggressive. They're violent. But you created that woman. You created that. So when someone like Kevin Samuels say, like, listen, and he tells them things that you won't tell them because you don't have that spine in your back. You have you have too much jelly in your back. You don't have the balls to tell them that you need to lose weight. Your woman would ask you, how do I look in these jeans? And you know that she's overweight. But you will lie to her and tell her how beautiful she is. Yes, she may be a beautiful woman. But she would be even more beautiful if she come down off that weight. And she would be a lot healthier. And will be around much longer because there's a lot of black women that's dying of cancer. And diabetes and high blood pressure. And now... Diseases that men died of, you have a lot of black women dying with that. So if you really love your woman, you will be honest with her. You don't have to be raw and hurtful with it. But then there's times, regardless of how nice you try to put it, they're going to take offense to it. So sometimes you have to offend them. You have to offend them to make them a better person. That's like a parent disciplining their child and then they tell the child, it hurts me more than it hurts you. Now the child is like, I'm not the one that's being, you know, getting the whooping or spanking. But that parent hurts in the heart because they don't want to harm you. They don't want to see you cry. They only want the best for you. So sometimes parents have to do what they don't want to do to create a better life for you or so that you can make better choices for yourself in life. And this is all Kevin Samuels is doing. So you complain about black women being masculine and violent and aggressive, but you complain about Kevin Samuels telling them what you are afraid to tell them to be feminine. To take responsibility for the choices you make in life. To be more selective of the men you choose. To, to lose weight. And be more healthy. To look more like a woman. Instead of a running back. So that's what I got out of what Creflo Dollar said. He didn't mention Kevin Samuel's name. He says a man. And you notice, he was only on that for a few seconds. It was just a very small portion of his sermon. Just a few seconds. If you blink an eye, you missed it. Just a few seconds he mentioned the man that his wife showed him. So he felt he had to mention that to please his wife. But that's not really important to him. And brothers out there that's married or that's been married, you know you should be able to 
relate to what Creflo Dollar did. So sometimes you just have to pacify that woman. It really means nothing to you. It's not a big thing, but it means something to her. So you mention it. You briefly mention it. So that you can say, well, I, I mentioned it. It's out of my hands now. That's it. But by Creflo Dollar saying that, if if you you can you can look at it like he kind of kind of threw a little jab, but it wasn't really a jab. It was just out of obligation. He just felt obligated to do that because his wife brought it to him. But Kevin Samuels does not bash women. He doesn't bash black women. He tell women, and women are the ones that watch him. They're the ones that fund him. In many cases, they're paying money to Kevin Samuels. His GoFundMe page, you know, uh, his, 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 whatever those payments they put in the chat room, the live chat, it's women that's, that's supporting him. They're the ones that's calling in. And there's a lot of dudes out there that's jealous of these women. And so Kevin Samuels started talking to black men because they was feeling left out. So I think a lot of this is coming from dudes feeling left out because Kevin Samuels is paying them no attention. And their women are watching Kevin Samuels. And their women are listening to Kevin Samuels. So you have some dudes out there that want to stop his mouth. They want to shut him up because he's messing up their game because they're not stepping up to the plate. They're not where they're supposed to be. They can't take care of their their woman or their children or their wives. They're lacking. So Kevin Samuels is talking about the high value man. You have to make better choices. Of the men you choose. And don't be quick to make babies that you can't support. Especially if he's not going to be there. Especially if he has no job. And he cannot support the children. Because he asked, like, well, uh, what kind of job does he do? Oh, he's got a t-shirt business. Okay, that's not enough. How is he going to support this? And Kevin Samuels is thinking long term. He's not thinking like right now. Like when you reach your age of retirement, what do you have to show for what you did in life? What do you have to show for that? For your life. So I went back. I watched it for myself. You heard what Creflo Dollar said. That's water under the bridge. It means nothing. And like I said, I was ready to go in on Creflo Dollar, man. I was going to talk about Creflo Dollar and, and, and some of the preachers. And, you know, because all preachers aren't bad, man. All preachers are not, you know, wolves in sheep clothing. Yeah, Creflo Dollar had his moments with his daughter. But every parent knows, especially in this day and time, parents do go through things with their kids. A child could grow up in the best home, could have everything, could be, could have two um, very, two parent, two good parents, and still be influenced by the world. That child could still be influenced by music or rap, so-called rap music. They become influenced by their peers that don't have what they grew up in. They get teased because they got two parents in the home. Because their parents care about them. And then you got the kids where they don't have two parents in the home. And the one parent they have don't pay them no attention. Don't cook breakfast. The moms don't cook breakfast for them. So when they go to their, their friend's house that's got two parents in the home. Two parents that's working or self-employed and the mom cooked them breakfast. Then that child is like, your mom cook you breakfast? Because they don't get it at home. 
So they're going to start bullying that child that's got two parents in the home. And then that child that's got two parents in the home that was raised right now feel he or she has to be like those that grew up in an entirely different environment than they did. So they start drinking. They start smoking. They start doing things that they're not supposed to do. They start having sex and bringing babies home. So just because a child grows up in a good home doesn't mean that they're going to make the best choices in their lives. Right? So I see nothing wrong with what Kevin Samuel say, and I see nothing wrong with Creflo Dollar mentioning it had nothing to do with the service sermon, but that was a very small, cheap shot he took. But he did not mention Kevin Samuel's name. That's water under the bridge. That's nothing. You can just shake that right off. Don't even pay it no mind. But you're going to have YouTubers out there that's going to blow that up bigger than what it is. They're calling him out of his name. They're talking about the relationship he had with his daughter and 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 things like when he hit his daughter. You know, parents go through that. If you don't have a child of your own, if you never raise a child, because listen, fellas, just because you you make a child or you get a woman pregnant and she give birth to your child. If you're not there to help raise that child, you have nothing to say because you don't know what it's like to raise a child, especially when that child reaches a teenage year. Or especially if that child has uh, emotional issues or psychological issues. That mother has to raise that child by herself and try to work two jobs to support those kids. While you're out making more babies with other women and spending your money as you will. So for those dudes out there, man, that bash Kevin Samuels that never raised kids on their own, the one that's bashing uh, Creflo Dollar for his history with his daughter, you got nothing to say if you never raised no kids, man. You don't know what it's like. You're just sitting back from a distance talking about what you would do. Oh, I, if that was me, I'd do this, I'd do that. But you hadn't been a parent. Just because you got a woman pregnant don't make you a parent. A parent is there. A parent disciplines their kid. A parent teaches their kid. The parent loves their child. And there's so many black males out there that have not learned to love their child. And if you don't love your child, how can you really love yourself? Or that woman that gave birth to your children. So, that's all I have to say with that. Feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.